Alright, what's up, YouTube? I'm Aka Loco. I'm in Diamond 3 playing against a Lee Sin top lane. It's the flavor of the month pick. If you played top lane at all this season, this patch, you've probably ran into Lee Sin. He's super oppressive early on, and he has pretty good dive potential against Cannon. There's not much you can do in lane, and you're going to look to mostly scale up. Maybe play with jungle ganks. But he's a 1v1 machine, and you'll have a pretty bad time against him most of the time. I'm still figuring out the matchup, but for now I'm taking Conqueror with... Ultimate Hunter and Tenacity. Just the standard rune set I'm running against him. I don't think Fair just really matters, since once he gets onto you, he'll one-shot you anyway. So you just look to brawl him out a little bit. Poke him down with Conqueror. It could be an airy matchup, but I still haven't been able to test it too much. I've only played against a few here and there. You always have to be careful of him choosing in this or this brush, though. Since that's usually what they're going to do. They're going to start Q and try and hit one on you. that happened, you just have to kite back and play into your minion wave. Yeah, he was in there. I knew the strat though. I'm gonna look to shove him in a little bit early. Not die to jungle ganks from Morgana. Ah, oh, I missed one. I'm gonna walk up to auto this and I'm gonna hit him. He did not auto it. Pretty standard so far. Good thing I didn't get cheese because that is most of his win condition. Good trade. Keep it patient. Don't overextend too much. Because he will out trade you. You have to be very careful of that. Keep my conqueror stacks up by autoing him a little bit more. Nice. Have to be careful of his E, because that's what he will be maxing in this matchup. Lee Sin's will max E, because it has good wave clear and good AoE damage. Uh, close. There's a chance I cheater on 4 here, but Morg's going to be up here soon. Get every auto you can out there, because that's the only damage you'll get on him for the rest of the lane. Was not a cheater angle, but I can help my Olaf since I pushed up. I'm here, at least since not. Alright, cool. I have it worded just in case Morg tries to blast cone over or something. I think this is a W max lane as well. Just due to the fact that you cannot really hit your Q reliably on him. Since she has just too many dashes. Alright, there's no reason for me to stay in lane here. I'm gonna leave. He's gonna just start out sustaining my damage at this point. I'm gonna go for a call and hope to just farm up. Call refill, control word if I can afford it, and run back to lane. He can't shove this too quickly, so I'm good. I lose maybe two minions here. Probably just two. Going good so far. I will outscale him, but once he gets his mythic, it's going to be really hard not to die 1v1. Because with his ward hop and Q, he can just run you down. It's pretty hard to deal with. From what I've seen. Alright, he's gonna look to recall here. I wanna take as little damage as I can. He's probably recalling. I'm fine with that. Not much I can do to stop him. CS this wave. Slow shove the next one. Maybe I can fast shove it actually, since I have W Max. I'm gonna try. Alright, that was pretty good. I'm gonna recall, I'll get boots. I will need the boots, and he's gonna miss this wave, which is really good. Ah, oh, he only missed one. He has a pickaxe now. 
there's a chance that going early seekers is a good good choice in this matchup but since the nerfs it's not really worth it maybe just an early cloth armor if anything all right he's level six he's a little bit ahead in xp from me just like three minions ish maybe four i'm gonna ward my try to make sure War morg doesn't walk up behind me she was in my jungle huh she was behind me good to know good to know so that means i'm probably gonna get dove here i just need to wait it out more top they already know yeah i don't know what they're doing here but it's not gonna work out she's probably still staying though so i have to be careful of her just walking up and killing me if we get by lisa and q it's probably over Leona's here. They're trolling. They actually just use everything they have. And they're not going to even get anything off of it. That was really in by them. They forced that way too hard. And I played it pretty well by backing up. Yep. As long as I don't die there, my team's massively ahead. Because now my Olaf's invading the bot side of Morg's jungle. And we got Drake. So that's really good. Really, 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 really good. Double kill for me. That's one of the only ways they can lose that. Okay, so Lee Sin's bot and I don't have kill pressure on him, I'm gonna ult the wave. Since I don't really need this ult to do anything. Since he's bot. And I think my team's gonna win that or either disengage uh, early enough where it don't matter. We'll see. I really wanna not put myself too far behind this matchup. So I'm just gonna take the wave and then leave. Nice. Very good. Very good stuff. Now I have TP for bot whenever I need to. Good start. That dive by them was really forced. And my Leona had a really, really good realm. Like, props to her. I will go stopwatch, actually, just to prevent a dive. I think it's a Zonia's rush game here. If I just Zonia's against Lee Sin, I'll be fine. Seems pretty good to me. I have ult for bot lane. Or a teleport for bot lane. I don't have ult, though. Going to ping that I have it. Alright, bot lane's fine. Morg's forcing a lot of dives around the map, huh? She's already forced on top and bot lane. I'm going to chill right now for a bit. I want to deny as much EXP as I can for Lee Sin. Small chance he is recalled and got... Oh, nope. Zero chance he's recalled and got anything. I was going to say there's a small ch chance he recalled and got something like a ruby crystal. You have to have your EW ready if he ever keys you. You have to be ready to use them. I'm fine. I'm chilling. They can't ult behind me, though. That is a possibility. Yep. If they're pinging that someone's missing, I just need to play it safe here. Nice, good CS. I can walk down since the owner's walking here with me. I have stopwatch in case Morg's here. Alright, we're good on Rift. I'm gonna walk down, see if I can pincer the sleep. Morg's behind me. Alright, Morg, Leona. I stun her first, and then use ultimate, just cause it secures it that way. I secure the ultimate damage, in case she flashes away. She'll at least take the brunt of it. I missed! Alright, nice. Walk back up to top lane, take that wave, then look to recall. Because I do have a lot of gold on me, I'm going to look to get alternator soon. Uh, maybe Seekers, maybe Seekers. With how the lane is going, I can afford to build flexibly. Yeah. 
This Leona is a godlike roamer, though. She's playing this game well. I'm gonna look to take a plate here. Just get it solo. He can't realistically kill me. Since I do have a stopwatch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're pinging that mid's missing. I'm just gonna chill for a bit. I'm gonna absorb this wave and then recall as soon as I can. Since I don't have ultimate, I can't make a play bot lane right now. He can't dive me since I do have stopwatch. He's so mad that I have stopwatch, bro. His champion even said I did not see that coming. That's the power of stopwatch, man. That's so OP. Okay, I can afford to take this wave, and then I can get my Zonias next. He is actually fuming. I'm out of here. I got Zonias. Uh, I can't do anything about this, sadly. I can walk mid and be there for Drake. I have Sweeper. I have Teleport if I need to go back top lane soon. But I think a Drake fight's gonna break out here. I just need to get on the rise and kill him. Be careful not to get cheesed by someone. We're mad chilling. There's no wards over here. So I'm fine to just sit for a bit. This is control worded as well. I'm gonna walk through mid. See if I can catch out Ezreal. And if I can't, I'm just gonna walk top. Well, we caught out Ezreal. Uh, that wave, that, that's just gone. I'm gonna come here. Oh, that wasn't a great ult. That was not a great ult, but we're gonna take the Drake for it. I just recall in the TP top. Oh, gee. Yeah, Luna just got caught out there. TP top immediately, get a Ruby Crystal. He can't dive me. Did he just go through my Q? Literally through it? He actually just went through my Q and it cost me a kill there. That's so annoying, man. Take the wave. We're chilling. Slight misplay there, bot lane here by ulting into the team without any, without any help. I don't want to get queued by him. He sucks. He sucks. He's so mad, bro. He's so mad this game. Holy jeez. No. He did not. As soon as good at timing summoners, huh? That's one thing I noticed like high elo supports actually do. Like not even like D1 or, or like D2. I mean like Grandmaster Challenger players. They just always time summoners if they're a support player, because there's no reason not to. If you play support, like, it's worth learning to do that. Like, you can just type with one hand, like, AD, 1400, and then press enter on, like, your right hand. If you have, like, a big keyboard, 100% keyboard, you just press enter with your thumb. Hi, Morg. She's 
spell immune man to that. That's so annoying. I thought it was going to wear out. I should just walk back. I could get Rise ulted behind me. It's pretty greedy to walk up like that and fight the morgue. I might even just need to recall here. Keep the freeze here. Since no one's appearing on here, I have reason to believe no one's going to walk top for a bit. Just going to recall. Slight mistake there. But yeah, this is bot lane. No one's going to come up top for a bit. Okay, rise. I don't have TP for this. This is just on my team. I have to take this wave. TP. I don't need to sweep that other other brush. I'm gonna keep this freeze here for a bit. It's not like a hard freeze, but it's worth denying them experience here. Because they're missing this cannon wave. Ryze can't walk up here. Lee Sin can't walk up here because he appeared bot. Then after this wave touches the next one, I'm gonna shove it. And then just base or walk to rift and leave them to deal with this wave. One CS off. I missed one CS in that wave, and it cost me my call. I'm just gonna walk back, because I know Morg is walking up there. If Lee Sin's tanking the wave right here instead of playing it into his tower, that means someone's near him, and I just need to walk back. Do we just fight for this Drake, though? I need one lane minion, but I can't walk up because there's three hovering top and Rice can ult behind me. But I guess I'll just walk to Drake and then fight this out. My priority targets are Ryze and Ezreal this game. If I can get onto either one of them, then I'm fine. Colon charge. Thank you! He can't queue onto me there, because I have Leona near me. Pull it out, pull it out, pull it out, pull it out. I'm just gonna zone use the Morgar. Pretty good by my team. Oh, I was so close to killing Karma. My Q was on her champion, man. Uh, they don't need me for this rift. I'm just gonna take the mid wave. Never mind. Oriana will take the mid wave. I will walk up to bot lane. Go take that. Kaisa's ulting in. I have to help her. Never mind. Ezra will just like eat away or something. Man, I'm so sad. I had my my Q going towards Carmen, then she got Rise ulted away. Can I get this? Uh, I can't. Nice. This is gonna shove into us. I'm just gonna freeze it here for a bit until I can get my Mythic. I have to be careful of Rise portaling behind me. It any moment in this game. Like, I can't be splitting carelessly if Rise is, like, missing. But since he's mid, I was safe to do that there. I'm just gonna recall and get my Mythic here, honestly. Sell my Cole, get a Mythic and Control Ward. Teleport top if I have to. I don't mind too much that I'll miss this wave. It's not that big of a deal. <sighs> Game's going well, though. Haven't died. Perfect game so far. A few mistakes here and there, with this ultimate here at like level 6 or 7. Other than that, I'm playing pretty well. Playing the least in matchup well. Oh, I missed a minion. Same thing as I've always been saying this game, need to be careful if Morg or Ryze walk up to me and I die. I can look for a flank mid lane. I can look for just a straight up fight mid lane, I guess. 
I'm control warded. I don't have time to take it out though. Help me. That was a clutch Zonia. Nice! I had to help her there. I can't just leave her. After she saved me like that. Good job. Well played to Leona. She's playing really well. I'm honoring her for sure. Yeah. She's playing well though. Alright, Void will be the next item. Just get it super effective. My team's taking Baron. It doesn't even matter. This game's pretty free. Morg messed up early and Lee Sin didn't ever get a lead and my bot lane was winning 2v2s. Just because the nature of Leona and Kaisa. They're gonna win 2v2s. Karma and Ezreal scale well though. So the game can't drag out too much or else we're in a bit of danger. Not too bad though, because we're gonna we're just gonna take over the game at this point. I still have to be careful. Ryze can portal behind me at any time. Alright, he's mid now. Something you have to think about when playing against Ryze. He can port behind you and just like get a free shutdown for his team. And then you're out. If he's hovering bot, I need to be careful. I just need to wait for my team to do something mid. Control to this. I'm gonna walk up and brawl with this least in a bit. I'm safe so far. It's not like anyone's missing on the map that I care about. This is what I was talking about before. With Ryze just porting up. Yep. They decided to go for the play and it did not work out. <sighs> Thankfully Lee Sin scuffing his combos here. If it's a little bit of a better Lee Sin, then I will die there most of the time. I'm gonna die no matter what here, huh? I want out. I want out. I'm okay! Wait for the minion wave. I can recall and TP back. I just have to be really careful if Ezreal's ulting me, I have to zone use it. I'm out of here. I just TP here, right? Yeah, I TP. Just secure it. In case something random happens, I want to be here. My TP is not that valuable anymore, because we're always just like, pushing up. We always have tempo. Lona ulted the dragon. Oh, we won. That's why. Feels good, man. I'm finally happy to be the least in lane. He's such a menace sometimes, man. He can one-shot you if he plays well. That was good. I'm definitely honoring Leona. She had, like, really good plays. She was always on top of things. Dude, that was so good by her. Plus 18. Most damage. Feels good, man. Alright, that's the least in matchup. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.